Greetings, dapplings, and welcome to Honey, I Joined a Cult, a new first taste for the channel, where we're going to be checking out this fantastically tongue-in-cheek offering from Soul Survivor Games. It came out into early access today, that is the 14th of September, 2021, and uh, described by the devs, it is a game where you create, customize, expand, and manage your own cult whilst listening to funky music, as evidenced by the, the little disc that's playing in the background right now as for my explanation of what honey i joined a cult is it's what you would get if prison architect and two point hospital both wo both woke up from the same euphoric nightmare and felt compelled by their their visions to journey out into the middle of some unnamed desert and begin to recruit the faithful for the eventual apocalypse it is a very tongue-in-cheek game with, with a little bit of RimWorld thrown in there as well. Now, the best way to describe is to show. So we're going to jump into a new game, but as with all of my first days, if by the end of the video you figure that you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see a little more, then do let me know down in the comments or with a like on the video. But with that all said and done, let's go ahead and jump into a new game. We're probably going to be playing through the tutorial, but before we get to that, we'll be treated to a little cutscene. At the cult of the space fish, day 52. Are things really going that badly? Uh, well, SOB. Yes. I mean, okay, fair enough. Okay, yeah, no, that, that, that looks pretty, pretty bad, actually. Yes, yes, there's, there's lots of protesting and an awful lot of SOBs. Uh,. I forget what that stands for. It's something funny, though, I'm sure. But a special observation bureau raid. There we go. <laughs> really? The people here are brainwashed. They're practically delusional. Take this punk, for instance. He's covered in blue house paint. I mean, he does. That's not house paint. He's begun his transcension into a space fish. Fish? Sort him out. Fish? Ugh, fish. Uh, boss, I'm not sure this is paint. Of course not. I told you. He's part space fish. Amazing. A miracle. Holy moly. We're converting the SOBs. Nonsense. It's probably just the really stubborn paint. Just get him out of here. Fish. This place is done. We're shutting it down. Rude. But I did nothing wrong. Although we cannot prove you actually lifted a finger around here. Everyone else is to be taken away. For processing. What's most important is that I'm free. Well, I mean... I want you out of this dust bowl tonight, punk. I'll be moving on to the next... L I mean... Uh, yes, of course. Officers will seal all this off shortly. They're stealing all my stuff. What about my beautiful artifacts? Protest leader Davis. Reporter Abby McCarthy. Reporter Sarah Hutchins. You're f uh, fished now, really? Did you just say fished now instead of finished? What? There are three people who are currently ascending to space fishhood. Ooh, that suitcase looks remarkably full of money. Even if there was evidence hidden under my hat. Which there is, of course it is. No one checks under the hat. I really should, consider. Uh... You ain't seen me, right? Uh... What? Alright, I just... Bop him in the face? Rude. I've been given quite the second chance. Time to change my ways. Excuse me. Bop. Ah! Time to change my ways, as I was saying. Time to... Oh, who am I kidding? Time to rebuild and establish contact with a new divine being. Won't the old divine being get upset, though? I hear divine beings can be incredibly jealous. First, I'll need some serious cosmetic surgery to change my appearance. Good thing I know a guy. Oh, look, so many happy faces. Uh, okay, some happy faces. There are, there are some very unhappy faces. There, all of the SOBs look very happy. Okay, no, I take that back again. There are some of the SOBs that don't look happy at all. Oh, 
Whole space fish. Three months later. Okay, so, first bit of the game, we get to define our cult. There are a couple of pre-mates. Well, uh, really. Captain Crimbo. And the cultist name is, is, is Elf. Wow, okay. Uh, the uh, Cult of the Moon, Cult of the Worm, the First Dynasty, uh, Donzies, Lark of the Covenant, fantastic. Maddening Dark, Temple of the Atom, uh, Flump Family, Children of Saurus, Christmas Dawn. Okay, well we're not going to be going with any of those. No, instead we're going to make our own. Be right back. Alright, there we go. We have got our cult. Now, there's a lot of references here. I don't expect many of you to get all of them, or in fact, many of you to get any of them. But if you do, let me know down in the comments so that uh, a hunter can take note of the fact that you know too much and begin the hunt. Uh, we have got the known and uh, the leader of this cult is Russell McBride. Thank you ever so much for your patron support. Russell, you are leading the Children of Winter who worship the Ivory Dove. They will be aspirant and aspirants. The Holy Room will be the House of Long Shadow and the Relic will be the Silent Memory. But with that, let us jump into the game. We're going to leave tutorial on because frankly, I'm probably going to need it if I'm perfectly honest with you. Hello world. Uh, hello. I'm Russell McBride. But you can just call me The Gnome. Welcome to Children of Winter. The Ivory Dove told me you were coming. The Ivory Dove tells me loads of stuff. Just me though, nobody else can hear. The Ivory Dove also told me you were going to help get the aspirants up and running. I'm pretty much your destiny, really. I'm more of an ideas person, so you're going to have to do all of the groundwork. You can't run a cult if you can't see the cult. Uh, move the camera around. Let's uh, just confirm that indeed we do know how to control the game. I think I see a bee in the grass. Zoom in so I can see it. Mm, nope, just some bee-shaped grass, really. Zoom out in case there's a real bee around. Good, not a bee in sight. Aspirants are the engine of the organization. They perform all of the daily duties and keep everything running smooth-ish. Save for the missions they're sent on. Aspirants spend their entire lives in this beautiful compound. They are truly blessed. Actually, sometimes they're arrested. That can take them off the compound for a while, too. That hasn't happened in weeks, though. <laughs> in weeks. Most importantly, aspirants extract money from our visiting followers. We need this money to realize the mysterious grand plan of the Ivory Dove. I purchased this compound with some money I had from a previous venture involving the Ivory Dove. I can't go into the details. We're going to develop it into a state-of-the-art facility that will provide for the needs of the aspirants and make money from our followers. <sighs> you talk a lot, though. Time to do some work. Let's get started. Rude. Whilst you can treat aspirants badly, we still need to provide for their basic needs. Neglected aspirants will have a mood break or leave. Whilst that can be funny to watch, it's not great for business. Let's see how aspirants are doing. Pick the most attractive one, really. No matter what I pick here, I bet you're going to tell me I picked wrong. Alright, uh, let's see. We've got to go over to their view stats page. There's quite a lot of information. All the characters in this have, have wants and desires and things they don't like. Um, you're a button masher. Uses nothing but arcade activities in the recreational room. So uh, all the other ways of chilling them out, not there. Uh, okay, very well. Ugh, really? Not who I would have chosen. I knew it. The mood bar shows the overall mood of each aspirant. Everything affecting the mood of an aspirant is listed in the mood section. Looks like they're happy uh, on the inside. We'll need to build some rooms to keep them that way. Okay, well, uh, new Spirant, plus 20, good. Everything needs solid foundation, even buildings. Let's construct some now. With foundations, select and drag an area. Now, you'll probably be very familiar with this from uh, games like Prison Architect. This does share a lot in the kind of um, the feel of it, but very little in the real execution. All right, we need a door. Let's uh, grab a door. We'll just go for... Uh, let's go for this door. Sure, pop. Uh, let's now partition the area so that we have enough space for multiple rooms. Notice that we're just paying for it and it's instantly being built. Uh, we'll go with, on the inside, uh, see, the in it's going to have a horrible transition, isn't it? So I'm just going to use brick so that it doesn't have a horrible transition. There we go. I wonder if we can draw over things. Uh, yeah, kind of. Good. 
Well done. The Ivory Dove says to tell you that they're very pleased. Oh, I'm very glad to hear it. Let's designate some rooms now. A tired aspirant won't perform their duties well. Their chit-chat is also super dry. They need to sleep in a bed to replenish their energy. Let's assign a bedroom so that they have somewhere to sleep. Once completed, exit the room. Uh, okay, very well. Pop. There you go. Good work. The room menu automatically opens when you assign a new room. Uh, it shows you what objects of room requires. This one needs a bed and some storage. Let's build a bed and some storage for each aspirant. And, of course, for me. The highlighted button will display the relevant object in the build menu. Let's furnish our room now. Uh, see room specific objects. There you go. You can rotate. I really do like it that it gives you the ghosted image of how someone will uh, will use the device. There we go. I've now got to pop in some storage boxes. This part I, I'm less uh, happy about, but okay. Uh, one there, one there. Um, I, I guess one here as well. It's, it's kind of all over the place, but sure. Don't have that much room to play around with. They're not ghosts yet. Build a door now. Doors and other objects can be rotated with the R key. Very good to know. And um, since this is... <laughs> we can use a cell door. No, uh, we'll go with another solid door since it's a bedroom. Good work. Aspirants will sleep in the beds during their assigned sleep time in their schedules. Now, you do set priorities and... Uh, schedules kind of similar to you to Rimworld in that regard for each aspirant. It's better for everyone if aspirants have access to a toilet and a shower. Assign a bathroom here. Very well. Probably is actually better for everyone, you're right. There we are, and build a door. Uh, once again, don't want anyone being able to see into the bathroom. There you go. You're a natural. Let's place some bathroom objects. The objects and rooms menu have search functions to help you find things. You can either input text into the search box or select the filter from the drop-down menu. Very well. Uh, let's use the filter to see what room-specific objects there are. Let's go to bathroom, pop. That's actually quite nice. Okay, look at all of those wonderful bathroom app uh, appliances. Let's build some now. Let's go ahead and pop down some showers at the back. There you go. We're going to need some sinks. Pop those down here. <laughs> Toilet bucket. Well... Okay. Uh, replenishes the bladder of an aspirant, replenishes the hygiene of an aspirant after they use a toilet, and replenishes the hygiene of an aspirant. See, I don't feel that this is really going to replenish much hygiene at all. Honestly, it's... It, uh, couldn't have done it better myself. Aspirants will raise their bladder and hygiene stats in the bathroom. Starving aspirants tend to die. I know this for a fact. Build a canteen here. Very well, let's get this canteen down. Womp. Uh, we also need a door, and then we're going to need a bunch of other things. Now, the canteen can totally have a, uh, a, a door that's visible through. Let's have a look. We need a canteen table. Let's pop that right in the corner. We're going to want a canteen serving table. Um, I guess there will do. Uh, we're also going to want a water cooler and a vending machine. So let's pop a water cooler down there and a vending machine right there. there. Very nice. Aspirants will eat in the canteen in their free time when they're hungry and raise their hunger stats. Some scientists believe that vending machine food is not particularly nutritious. It can also be expensive. A kitchen will provide better quality, cheaper food like gruel. You might want to build one in the future. Very well, I'll bear that in mind. The rooms you've built, uh, they're, well, they're hideous. Placing decorative items will increase the room's prestige rating, which in turn will affect the mood of your aspirants. Note that overcrowding a room with objects results in a prestige penalty. Keep an eye on a room's prestige bar while decorating, and expand cramped rooms where necessary. Place some decorations now. Okay, not three decorations. Let's go and have a look at these. Uh, decor. Ah, the lava lamp. Where would we be without a lava lamp? Let's pop a lava lamp in there. Let's also pop some lava lamps in here. Uh, you know what? Let's get a nice uh, nice uh, smelling plants in the bedroom as well. It might help. It might not. But uh, I've at least tried. I like what you've done with the place. Place and decor will increase the prestige rating of a room, which will improve people's moods. You can view the prestige rating of a room by clicking on it. That doesn't look good. Restricted space minus 11. Yeah. What about down here? Okay. That's, uh, that's actually not too bad. Uh, okay. 
Why is nobody praying? The ivory dove will go crazy. I want to hold a sermon. Build me a holy room right now, please. At least you said please, I suppose. Let's uh, go for... Um, go for grey brick walls for this one. And we want a door. Let's possibly have this one fully closed off as well. Now, a sighting space for our holy room. House of Long Shadow. Build one lectern, two pews, and an idol. Okay. Um, well, we could go with... I mean, they're both exactly the same in terms of uh, their cost, so I guess it doesn't really matter over much. Pop one there. We're going to get a nice stone lectern here. We will also then get some pews. Let's go for stone pews. Make sure they're facing the right way. There, that gives us a little bit of room in the future for more. And, of course, we definitely want to get ourselves uh, decor. Now, what kind of decor? That is anyone's guess at this point. Um, table, maybe? Uh, a lava lamp, perhaps? Uh, no, let's, let's get a plant. Pop a little plant over there. Oh. All right, that's not actually bad at all. Total Prestige 13. Holding sermons in the Holy Room creates faith. Faith is drained by each aspirant every day. If it gets too low, everyone's mood will suffer. Let's hold our first sermon before everyone stops believing in the Ivory Dove. Sermons will occur automatically each day, providing our Holy Room is fully functional and accessible, and you have enough influence. Looks like our first sermon is about to start. This is our influence over there. It gets used for such things as uh, as uh, sermons and a couple of other uh, abilities that our leader might have. Let's see how the sermon goes. Okay, well, we've got to wait on it. This music is far too chipper for what I imagine is going to be the sermon in a holy room called the House of Long Shadow. All hail the ivory devil. Oh, okay, you're, you're getting straight in there, aren't you? You are you are holding the sermon in emojis. I I don't even I Ah oh my lord, not that emoji. Have you noticed how many successful restaurants are theme based these days? Uh, um no. I can't say I have. Uh, something something silent memory. Okay. Uh, we've now got a readout sermon complete. We've got quality of two, aspirant capacity of six, aspirants taking part, four. Uh, influence cost was 6, but we gained 161 faith. Russell McBride lost uh, a bit of mood, but did gain a bit of energy, and we got no uh, bonus for the theming. Sadly. Oh, it is what it is. They loved it. Sermons are the most effective, uh, sorry, are more effective if I'm in a good mood before they start. They take a lot of the nose energy, uh, sorry, the known's energy, though. So, let's space them out. You can change the time a sermon occurs in the Holy Room slider bar. Manual sermons can also be triggered if a scheduled sermon fails to start for any reason. Uh, can I...? Oh yes, so I can. Okay, so I can set that up at the end of the day, or I can have it at the start of the day, perhaps. I can have different types, but I'd need an altar to create a themed sermon. Now, I believe there's only one theme in the game currently, but early access game, they're going to be adding content constantly. We can use different sorts of things, purge negativity, skill boost, um, faith boost, all sorts of things. We can use more influence to gain more faith, or we can just try to uh, remove negative thoughts. That actually might not be a bad idea in the future. Flowers, uh, sorry, followers, are the cash cows that we need to buck. It would be nice if we called our followers flowers. Uh, they'll happily pay for all sorts of strange treatments in our therapy rooms. Let's build a therapy room to start generating income. We'll start with the meditation studio. I can't help but feel the game is taking shots. Uh, let's go for a wooden therapy room. Uh, we will have... Uh, we actually do want people to be able to see, so we'll have a wooden door with a window in it. A sign space for our meditation room. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Womp. And now, let's add in one meditation stage. That one doesn't seem to rotate. We'll just pop that one there. We need some meditation mats. So let's make sure the peeps are facing the right way. Let's have... Uh, 
I guess will have them over here. We want five of these. You know what? We'll just pop in five like so. And we want some music. Sure. We can pop the music right at the back there. And optionally, a decor item. Of course. Uh, let's see. I mean, we could have some nice lighting in here. A tall mirror, maybe. Prestige of three on that. It's not actually that big, really, to be perfectly honest. We could pop the tall mirror over here, perhaps. Might even have another one over there eventually. But there we go. People love meditation. Sometimes I say I'm meditating, but I'm actually asleep. These therapy rooms will make us a fortune. Aspirants will work the therapy room during the work routines. Followers will spend their time praying in the holy room and receiving treatments in the therapy room. Different therapy rooms produce different amounts of resources, such as money, faith, and influence. Followers will leave if there are no therapy rooms available, or they're bored of all of the current ones. Build as many different therapy rooms as you can to keep the money flowing. Remember, it's all for the ivory dove. We first need to convince people to become our followers before we can make money from them, though. Let's build a lobby. Interested people will go there uh, to talk to the receptionist. Build one here. Very well. Let's make... Uh, let's go for brick again. Nice welcoming brick. Uh, we will have a sealed off door at the back, but doors with windows at the front to be a little bit more inviting. Let's assign the lobby. There we go, and then we need one lobby desk, and that's pretty much all we need to do. We'll pop that one there. Uh, can we have a decor item in here? We can, so let's go ahead with that. Let's pop down. Come on. We're gonna, we, lava lamps. It is the way. If, if they can't be, uh, can't be recruited through the application of lava lamps, then there's just no hope for them. Good. A decent receptionist is very important. So try and make someone uh, who can string a sentence together. Make someone who can string a sentence together? If the receptionist does a good job, the person will join us as a follower and start to visit us at our therapy rooms regularly. You know what people really love, though? Paving tiles. That's true. I mean, you know, you are speaking facts. People follow paved tiles if there's a route available and it's not ridiculously long. Otherwise, they'll walk on the grass. Uh, then they might step on a bee. Nobody wants that. You are a little bit bee-focused, really, I'm going to be honest with you. All right, we want flooring, um, sand, oh, let's get, get an actual paving tile. Expensive, but gorgeous. I met someone at a bar yesterday, and they said they'd drop by to check out, uh, check us out, rather. They should be here any moment. Wow, they, uh, look totally different to how I remember. I wonder if they're still interested, let's see. Okay, well, we don't have to wait all that long. We can speed things up if we so choose. Clint Stanton, I hope you're going to uh, talk us up while here. Is that a cabbage? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, apparently they were carrying a cabbage. I, well, I, hmm. They were disproportionately excited about that cabbage. I'm not sure what to make of it. That's our first follower. Pretty sure it was my bar chat that made the difference. Well, I mean, you know, you're stacking whatever you said at the bar up against, is that a cabbage? I'm, I'm, I, it's a fairly easy and safe bet, that one. I'm feeling a bit guilty about splashing so much money on those luxury toilet buckets. Uh, let the aspirants earn $50 from our follower to show their gratitude. I am very concerned. But okay, let's speed things along a little bit, shall we? Uh, we're up to uh, 13, they're doing, doing their meditation. Well, why are you waving your arms during your meditation? I, I mean, I guess it takes all sorts, I suppose. I'm sure there are many different ways to meditate. Uh, there are many things I will do, but I refuse to gatekeep meditation. Right, there we go. Also, <laughs> just splashing my drink in my eye. This is punishment for almost gatekeeping meditation. The Ivory Dove is keeping me on the straight and narrow. Thank you very much, Ivory Dove. Excellent. They clearly love the Ivory Dove very much, as do we all. Ah, cult great. We'll want to send more co uh, competent aspirants into the town, though, to carry out tasks. Others uh, should probably never leave the compound. Ever. It'd be great to have someone shouting about how great we are in town. People love that. <laughs> are you sure? All right, let's have a look at our missions. We've got a level one shouting outing. No time limit on this one. Uh, this is the town map, uh, St. Michael Bay. Uh, really? 
St. Michael Bay. Is that really... <sighs> okay. I'm just moving on. Right, so shout loudly about how wonderful the Ivory Dove is. Are we are, are we sure we want to spread this information? I, I, shouldn't shouldn't we be sec you know closely guarding the this, this secret knowledge? I uh, I feel bad about this. Also, wow, we've got a bunch of people who were awful, like so awful, so awful at so many things. Why? Oh my lord, we've got two two aspirants who've got bad memory and so are just inherently bad at all things. <sighs> we've only got one that's actually good at anything. Amy Leaf. Okay. Well, I'm going to send you out on this mission, Amy. Head on. Off they go. The success of a mission will depend on many factors, like who you send and how hard it is. Let's see how they do. Review the mission result once the mission is complete. Very well. I uh, hope that they will head out reasonably soon. Off they go. Well done. Uh, how is everything else going? Uh, we're doing a little, a little bit more over here. Hannah Ewing. Uh... We're slowly building it up so that we could recruit you if we want to eventually. Once filled, you can attempt to recruit this follower. Not a guarantee, though. Quote, zombies eat brains. You're safe. Wow. Savage. Current job, egg collector. I don't feel an egg collector has a right to be that savage. I don't know, though. They might be, like, raptor eggs. In which case, I take it back. Absolutely, absolutely, 100% rightful amounts of savageness. You probably need to be that savage to deal with the raptors. Uh, joined on day one, Acid Blood. Yeah, okay, no, definitely, there might, might actually even be Xenomorph eggs. The, the, the right to your level of savagery, I'm, I'm actually starting to appreciate that you're going incredibly easy on us at this point. My goodness. Works meeting to mailboxes. Oh, we're just not messing with this person. It is more than our life's worth. Right, okay, mission is complete. Let's review the mission. Okay, we got some PR rating, some money, and uh, a bunch of XP per aspirant. Hooray. Looks like they're good at shouting. Missions provide all sorts of rewards and benefits, such as unlocking new objects and providing more resources. Personnel will not return from missions until you view the result. Very well. If we're going to make some serious money from our followers, we'll need to research funky new technologies on, for our base. Let's get a research room up and running. Now, create the research office. Uh, okay. Let's first put a door in here. I 100% feel that a research area probably should keep things unseen. So we're going to go with a solid door for this one. We don't want any of the uh, unworthy peeking in at our research. No, no, no. Right. We're going to need a research office desk and a supercomputer. We we're going to... You know what? I underestimated how much cash you you had in your previous venture with the Ivory Dove. That is, uh, that, this is also an incredibly cheap supercomputer. How much is it? It's 400. Is it really super, though, at $400? <laughs> and a research office desk. Let's pop you about here. There we go. And let's get a decor item in there. Um, let's have a comfy chair. Let's have a comfy chair opposite the research chair. Aspirants won't work in the research office unless we assign a research task. Let's do so now. Start a maintenance research... Uh, start maintenance research office. Start maintenance research... What? I'll, I'll start researching the maintenance room. Aspirants using this room wander the compound, repairing broken objects and cleaning clutter. That sounds like an incredibly useful thing. We're using up our influence to get that on the go. Excellent. This bar will increase when aspirants are working in the research office. Once the research is complete, you'll need to assign a new research task. Wait for the maintenance room research to be completed, then review in the research menu. But it will speed things up. Amy Leaf, our, well, I was going to say our super aspirant, but realistically, you're, you're just the only not bad aspirant. That isn't the same as being super. Comparative to the other aspirants, you are indeed super. But, yes... To get better aspirants. Oh my lord, how did we end up with such a bad batch of aspirants? I this is punishment from the ivory dove. All right, let's uh, have a look in here. Aspirant using this room, wander around the combat, blah blah blah. Okay, very well. Looks like this cheap furniture we bought isn't holding up, really. This object has already broken. 
How did you break a lectern? That must have been a very animated uh, speech you were making. It's a stone lectern as well, so even more animated. Someone working in a maintenance room will patrol the base and look for broken items, soilings, and other clutter. Build a maintenance room so we can keep on top of that stuff. Very well. Say no more. Uh, we will totally allow this room to uh, be visible, though. There's no particular reason not to. Right, we want maintenance room. And see, room-specific items. Right, we are going to need a workbench, a tool trolley, and a cleaning cart. Uh, let's pop the workbench down here. A tool trolley over there. And a cleaning cart right by, there, right by the door. Can we, can we put a, a decor item in here as well? Is that allowed? Maybe, maybe not. Can I give you a lava lamp? Yeah! There we go. Lava lamp! Look! The maintenance, the maintenance guy deserves a lava lamp as well. Excellent. So we'll start patrolling the base. Let's watch. Time will automatically pause for the next section. Okay, fair enough. Let's speed things up then. Uh, hopefully someone will. Um, I what? Where's the maintenance worker? I I see them not. Uh, oh, there you are. It'll take a while for an aspirant to find broken objects and clutter. To speed them up, we can manually order the maintenance room workers to fix something. Select the maintenance room worker. Right-click on a broken object. Let's watch them repair the object. Unpause using spacebar. Thank you very much for teaching me how to unpause. I approve. Good as new. Is it, though? The authorities don't take kindly to organizations like ours. We want to keep a low profile. Heat is a measure of negative attention that we're drawing to ourselves. Certain actions increase heat, such as people dying, or aspirants leaving, and mission failures. If it gets too high, people may protest against us, or the police might intervene. Heat will slowly drop over time if we stop producing it. Okay, well, that's good to know. My friend from the bar looks pretty desperate. I reckon they'd join our ranks if we'd ask them. Are you sure? Oh, yes. Ah, uh, plot armor. Once followers have been with us for a while, the recruit button will appear in their level tab. Attempt to recruit them now. So this is their level tab. This is their interest. It'll go down if they've used one over much. Uh, we don't know any of their traits currently. Which is unfortunate. But okay, let's uh, recruit you. They're deciding. And it looks like they uh, they accepted. What uh, traits have you got? Let's have a look. Very poor quality, decrepit, and straight. I don't even. Welcome to the party, pal. They're deaf. They'll definitely need their own bed, but that bedroom is looking a bit cramped. I recommend expanding your rooms as you recruit more aspirants. The Ivory Dove talks to me about a lot of different things, you know. From raining down hellfire to summoning giant octopus creatures. Their will is truly open to interpretation. But once you build a leader's sanctum, we'll be able to choose which direction to go in. Whatever we do, we'll need money. So make sure you've got regular flow of followers. Good luck. And that's it for the tutorial, more or less. Uh, looking for lava lamp. Uh, these are just basically tips. They're, they're not any kind of quest. Just things to draw your attention to. And worth having a look at if, uh, if it's your first time playing. Um, or, you know, you see any of them popping up that you're not used to. You can disable these. However, we do have a lot of level ups to go and take care of, though. So let's actually have a look at that, shall we? All right, James Davis. Uh, you're disorganized. Minus two empathy skill, minus two planning skill. Strange, you're a petty criminal. Negative effect uh, when leaving the cult are halved. The desperate may have limited potential, but no one is taking much notice of them either. Quality, very poor. You can only go up to level three, and your skills can only get up to level five. Now, the, the quality of the person will will change based on uh, our, um, our PR and such, so uh, we'll be able to get people with much higher potentials. But for the time being, since you're not really empathic, I'm not going to put you into any of the jobs that actually kind of re require that. Maybe hmm, you're not particularly good at improvising, though, either, so not going to be good in the maintenance room. How about instead, I just dump all these points into research. There you go. And I think at that point, I'm also going to go in here 
Um, I am going to tell James Davis. Uh, I would very much like... Uh, let's go to priorities. James Davis, could I get you to prioritize researching? Oh, we need espionage skills for that, do we? Interesting. Still, let's get you set up with that one. Uh, next person on the list, we've got Clint Stanton. Kind of bad at everything, honestly, Clint. Um, but we're going to need someone who can do a little bit of uh, chatting with therapy rooms personnel. Increase influence gains. Let's uh, get that one up by two levels. And uh, Clint, I'm going to want you to take care of meditation. That's a high priority for you. Next person is going to be Amy Leaf, who's our only person who's actually good at anything. Button masher, an all-star plus one bonus to all skills and average quality. Well, Amy, I would like you to be fairly social and um, maybe public speaking. I mean, that's a good one for the lobby. I want someone who's going to prioritize the lobby more than anything. Maybe bluffing? Yes, bluffing for the lobby. So, Amy, you're going to be our, the, the face of the Children of Winter. There we go. And Judith Hutchinson. Okay, well, I'm not really... I'm actually going to have Amy also focus on the House of Long Shadows, I think. But uh, I think maybe let's get you into maintenance. So everything into improvisation there. There you go. Right. Done and done and done. Now, I'm a little bit worried about the bedrooms. Frankly, I think we need to improve that enormously. Our bedroom is utter garbage right now. So let's try and improve that a bit. And let's get a nice big bedroom since we're going to need quite a few of them eventually. Uh, that's one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. Pop it back there. I would like a door over here, right in the middle. We will make this a bedroom. There we are. And room specific items. Now then, at this point, I can add these around the place, like so. Get some storage boxes at the foot of each bed. We can add more as we go as well. Um, that's not exactly the most efficient setup. Actually, can we... Ooh, can we not? Oh, there we go. Delete object. There we are. Let's delete these. Oh, oh actually, I can just move them. There we go. That would be a little bit better, won't it? Plenty of storage boxes. I don't actually know if we need um, one storage box per bed, but let's assume that for the time being that is the case. Uh, so we're going to need another another two. So let's pop one there, one there, and let's move some of the objects down from the top. So one there, and one here. We can perhaps have this one. Um, well, yeah, we'll keep those there because of the these beds. Right, now some decor items. We're, our prestige is doing fine. We've got a little bit of restricted space, but that should be okay on the whole. So decor. Actually, let's go for a rug. Uh, <laughs> those are quite quite interesting looking rugs, I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's get this right about there. There we go. Let's pull that prestige up a little bit. And look, I'm, gonna, I'm going to be doing a lot of decorating. Perhaps we could get some bookshelves, maybe. One there, one there. I know it, it, it's odd to try and beautify a room that is otherwise decorated with cardboard boxes and just lousy mattresses on the ground. Still, it's what we're doing, so. And of course, who would I be if we didn't have a lava lamp? Tonk, there you go. All right, so there's Prestige 20 now for this room. I'm all right with that. Which means this room can be undone, hopefully. Let's delete this whole room. I'm not sure if we're getting anything back from all of that. One would hope. Can I delete the room itself? Rooms. Unassigned room. Tonk. There we go. All right. Getting somewhere now. Now that that's done and we've got beds for everyone, let's have a look at our research. The research tree is actually quite huge. There's a lot of content already here. 
Um, the, a lot of the, the research will unlock upgrades to rooms or different kinds of decorations that you can place in them. As you can imagine, there are people aren't always going to be expected to be uh, using a bucket as their toilet. On that note, that is actually grossing me out. So let's try and get down to the bathroom upgrade. That's going to require the recreational room first and foremost. So let's get that researched. It's going to take a little bit of influence there to get that on the go. But as soon as we can get down there and actually make that into something of a, of a less disgusting room, then that would be ideal. Uh, we're also going to pop down some flooring, I think. Uh, time for a rebrand. That pumpkin head might have felt like the fashion choice at the time, but we all know taste change. Basically, you can change your uh, your setup at, at any point. You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to. Uh, Stick with the choice you made initially, if you're not interested in it anymore. There we go, let's just draw these out a little bit. That'll look lovely. Perfect. Alright, next up, what other things can we build? Uh, foliage. Okay, we've got some rocks maybe. Perhaps we could add in some rocks. I'm not sure that it actually changes anything trees as well and a bush over the far side there we go I don't think that really makes much of a, of a difference there but overall things are looking okay you've got a, a level up here fantastic Clint let's have a look at you then where are we gonna take you Clint uh, currently we don't actually have anyone set up for the house of long shadow skills bluffing um, and public speaking. And that being said, maybe I could get a little bit more empath empathy and retail. Yeah, let's let's keep pushing you, Clint, towards meditation. We'll get a little bit more influence, and retail will get us a little bit more money as well. Influence over the last 24 hours, only minus one, but we gained a load of faith. We did lose a fair bit of money, but we've also gained a bunch of followers, which is actually remarkably good. Now, if we have a look at our followers, we can see that they've all got certain traits, and one of the, the goals that we'll want to get to is rooms that will allow us to work out what a, a uh, follower's traits are before we recruit them, because, as you can see, our current set of aspirants are... They could be better. Uh, let's put it that way. They could be very, very much better, actually. Uh, you've actually got one of the uh, highest intelligences here, James. Uh, that is very, very nice to see. Uh, how have we got you set up? James, uh, you are actually already already set up there. Now, here is the, uh, the schedule, and it's going to be very similar. You can cut, you can paste, you can load from saves. You can, you've got a couple of defaults that you can, you can place, but there are three different, like, uh, time types. Sleep, free time, and work. Now, one of the things I would suggest, probably fairly early on, split up their free time a bit. It doesn't hurt to do so, uh, just so that we can make sure that people aren't all taking their breaks at the same time. That way, they'll avoid uh, overfilling the uh, the canteen, for example. And we'll have you about five onwards, so about there. There we go. I'm going to try and keep them all with their free time in the evening at the same point. Just so that they they all go to the sermon together. I feel that that's going to be quite important for our for our little cult. Right, oh, look at that. Russell McBride sleeping with the aspirants. Oh, what, what a fantastic leader you are. Uh, let's, uh, let's do a little bit more work in the reception, though, because we do have a, a fair old number of people hanging out in there. So let's go for some comfy chairs. But actually, let's move you back a little bit to about there. Maybe a coffee table across in the the side here. Some comfy chairs there as well. Uh, we'll pop maybe another lava lamp right at the back. Um, filing cabinets. Sure, we'll give you two filing cabinets. And a potted plant in the corner. There we are. Lovely. Re reception is looking so much better already. Okay, now hopefully we're going to be getting through the recreation room reasonably fast, but uh, that is going to come down to luck. 
really, and making sure that uh, someone actually takes up that job, it, it, they're going to pick and choose where they go by themselves initially, especially when we've got so few uh, aspirants. We do need to increase that. One thing I will say, though, the House of Long Shadows could probably do with an upgrade in terms of the pews. Let's get some more peeps in here, shall we? Let's do that right there. Uh, in terms of the prestige, it's doing okay in here so far. Uh, perhaps we could get some more rugs, though. Let's go for this rug here and here. Oh, that's lovely. I approve. I approve enormously with that, actually. That looks gorgeous. Okay. Now that we've got a... James Davis has got a level up. What were we leveling you towards? So uh, it is just intelligence. Uh, well... Okay, let's slow this down just a second and have a look at what this job really wants. So, in terms of this, espionage will help. So, okay, let's pop your espionage up a little bit as well then. There we are. That is going to be great. Right, you need to keep a diary. It's not always the best option to have all of your aspirants working to the same schedule. For example, it might be useful to make sure some take different lunch breaks. Indeed, we're already on it. No worries about that there. I'm doing it for the Ivory Dove. That's all right. Art, Ivory Dove, great. Now, we've got the recreational room. We'll get one of those up and running as soon as we can. But we are going to make a beeline for the bathroom upgrade because... Uh, <laughs> It is slowly eroding my soul, knowing that they're having to poop in buckets and then wash their hands, if you can call it washing, in that trough. Really? They're just, just dipping their poopy hands into the water? I don't see a, a drain. I don't see a tap. They're probably filling it with, with water. Oh, my God. I don't even want to think about it anymore. Why are you doing this to us, game? Right, let's uh, go ahead and set up a recreation room, shall we? Let's pop the recreational room over here. It needs to be at least a 6 by Ooh, it needs to be at least a 6 by 6 Okay. Duly noted. We're going to need to make some changes then. How about we move the maintenance room up here then? Right. Now that we've done that, I would like to move some of these objects out and up here. Uh, you can sit over there. You can be there. This can be here. And you'll get your lava lamp back as well. There you go. Can't say fairer than that. In fact, I'm going to upgrade you a little bit. Uh, let's get you some more items in there. Um, sure, in your downtime, our maintenance peeps can have a little bit of a, a sit back in a bucky nook. There you go. Bucky nooks for the win. Perfect. Right, that's all done. Now, I would like very much to unassign this room. Tom. And, furthermore, I would like to delete this wall. There we go, now we're talking. We want to put in a new... Now, actually, hmm. Still, still a little bit too, too narrow, though. We're going to have to expand that wall out. So, with that in mind, how about we expand it out like so? I know, I know, it makes it, it, makes it look all jagged and wonky, but... Ah, it's for the Ivory Dove! Recreational room. There we are. We are low on funds, though. Okay. Recreational rooms are used by aspirants to increase their fun. We need any entertainment in here. Okay. Uh, we cannot... Uh, oh, damn it. It's the only one we really need because it's the only one that Amy will use. Uh, okay. Well, dominoes. Uh, replenishes the fun of aspirants. Any entertainment object is needed to complete the recreational room. Well, okay. Let's just pop this in there for now. You can just play some dominoes for now. Until I can get the uh, Rubik's Cube puzzle as well, maybe. Let's pop that down there. There we go. Now, it's not much. But as soon as we go 1,500, I'm going to put in a, a new item in there. That should that should help out. Okay, we've got a couple of peeps. Uh, Amy, actually, has a level up. Well done, Amy. Let's get you increasing with social and with bluffing and as you can see the daily cost of influence or rather of faith is increasing so you might not want to rapidly expand your 
um, your aspirants, or, or rather your cultists, if you want, uh, increasing their skills too quickly, because it might uh, exceed your ability to maintain them. The Priorities tab in the menu of uh, each aspirant allows you to choose which jobs they will prioritize. Already done. Please and thank you. You're for much. Right, now, we could get PR missions on the go, but again, really want to, if nothing else, but the end of this first taste, have them not pooping in a bucket. I feel that our aspirants require this. How can we possibly serve the Ivory Dove when we're pooping in a bucket? That, that, that does not bring glory to the Ivory Dove. That asks lots of questions, but none of them are good questions. They're all bad questions. Uh, all right, Judith has got to level up. Well done, Judith. Uh, let's continue to level up your improvisation. Actually, let's have a quick look. What does that job specifically benefit from? Planning. Okay, yeah, I suppose so. I suppose planning would, would make sense. There you go. And we've also got Hannah, who is currently actually not upgrading anything. We haven't given you a priority yet. Okay. You can start on anything, really. Uh, decrepit movement speed is reduced. Okay, well, how about we go for... Hmm. A little bit more... Well, we've got House of Long Shadow, which is buff, bluffing and public speaking. We've got the Meditation Room, Empathy and Retail. Let's uh, increase Retail and Empathy. There we go. And we're going to have you helping out with that, I think. That would be fantastic. There we go. Now, we only need a little bit more research. Thank you very much. Right. Allows the leader to boost an aspirant's mood at the cost of influence. Right, finally. This one's going to cost us a lot of influence to get, but oh my lord, do we need it. Nine hours. Get to work, peeps. This is for you. Not specifically just for me. Please hurry up and get that bathroom upgraded. Also, while we're, we're doing this, we can now boost people's moods. Let's uh, slow down time a little bit and actually have a look at our aspirants. How are you all doing? Well, I mean, it's not... It's not awful, actually. Some of you are doing okay, but we have got some negative thoughts. Um, tired, horrific food, extremely bored, but uh, as you can see, it, it does rise every now and then. Um, free time, positive chat, entertained. I'm the leader. <laughs> you know what, Russell McBride? I, I, can't, I can't say that that isn't exactly how it works. Like, <laughs> I'm in charge. <laughs> Life is great. Uh, right, Clint, though, you are in a bit of a rough mood. And that's even with the plus 20 new aspirant. I, that worries me a little bit. Perhaps we can pop in here, see the sermon, and perhaps say purge negativity? It costs us an extra bit of influence, but uh, can we not afford it right now? It doesn't look like I can. Maybe maybe I would have to activate it. Or maybe these would be... Uh, maybe I would need to to uh, research those. Because they are actually grayed out. They're not just buttons. They Okay, well, fair enough, though. Uh, let's speed things along, though. We've got many, many things to do. We have, however, got enough money. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Right, actually, slow things down. Can I change it now? Let's just double check. Can I, can I make it... No, sadly, not happening. Okay, well, that's fair enough then. But in the meanwhile, we can spend an awful lot of our money on getting you a slot machine. No, not necessarily feeling that the slot machine is the best use of your time, but sure, whatever. If I don't end up with extra money as a consequence of them using the slot machine, though, I'm just going to cause shenanigans. But there we are. Faith generated, not too bad. Uh, our faith is generally on the up. That did cost us a fair bit of uh, influence, though, which is kind of kind of sucky, but oh well. Everyone, it is time for sleeps. Go into your gorgeous bed chamber. I, well, I mean, you know. I, it, it looks nice. The bar is reasonably full, I feel. Uh, still, uh, probably could be improved greatly, but uh, it is what it is, I suppose, for now. Uh, this is actually getting quite cramped. I would love it if we could expand our canteen out a little bit, but money-wise, that's going to be an issue. We are at 8 out of 16 uh, followers. We can't recruit any of them right now, but it might be worth us looking into that in the near future. But okay, we're going to pass a little bit of time, and hopefully get the bathroom upgrade researched. 
And there we go. We've researched better bathroom equipment just as one of our sinks broke down. There we go. Unlocks new bathroom objects. Fantastic news. An object just broke. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, do we actually have anyone cleaning right now? Uh, aspirant was injured. Oh, no. What happened? Food-related injury. An aspirant has gotten ill after eating with dirty hands. <sighs> Not a moment too soon did we research the bathroom upgrade. Uh, when aspirants get injured, one of your aspirants is injured, an injured aspirant will struggle to perform their duties as effectively. Well, I mean, that's fair. Dirty hands whilst eating, they've got throbbing forehead. Uh, that is... that is unfortunate. Uh, minus one penalty to all skills. Okay. Let's have a look at the new bathroom options that we have. Bathroom. Okay. We've got a standard uh, head shower. Looks good. That... that... Oh, oh, that's the glass. Oh, my lord. I thought it was like some sort of, you know, just glass cabinet. You stick someone in and fill it with water. I was about to say, that isn't how showers work. Yeah. But time for us to get rid of these wretched things and build ourselves some proper sinks. Uh, I can build one proper sink. Oh, no. Quickly, get me more money. I would like to get you, get you better toilets as well. But uh, sadly, it doesn't look like that's going to be a thing that happens. But at the very least, you can use a proper sink. Look at that! Clean as a whistle! Ah, oh, thank goodness. Let's hope we get a little bit more cash from the peeps of here. We've actually got a decent amount of followers now. Right. If I spend this money, then someone won't be able to get food. But, you know, do I want them having food if they can't clean their hands? I don't think so. Actually, as far as things go, these are remarkably more expensive than the uh, troughs that we were giving them before. Well, okay. Uh, drain is optional in the bathroom. Uh, I mean, I would actually like to have one, though. Uh, toilet, standard, that would be great. And a, an, an actual regular shower. But we might have to find out if we can afford to get those in a future episode, if there is one. Because we have run out of time for this first day. So do let me know if you enjoy the look of Cultist Simulator, though, down in the comments, or again, with a like on the video, we might see a little bit more of this in our future. But that is going to be it from me and from Russell McBride and the children of winter. Thank you very, very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next. But until then, and as always, our cult great. I, I mean, I mean, our church great. I, I mean, our resort spa great. <laughs> <laughs>